All right, so today I want to talk to you about why I chose rural Alabama, the country of all places to start a business. Conventional wisdom may tell you that it's better to be connected to a bigger city or living in a bigger city so that you can have access to more people, more things, more networking opportunities and all of that good stuff, right? And yeah, that was yesterday's way of operating, thinking when it comes down to business, but today we don't have to live in a big city. We don't have to even live close to a big city because the internet has changed the way that businesses operate right? Technology has changed the way that we do business and it's closed the gap. It's put you in front of your customer regardless of where you are, right? So we don't have to live in bigger cities now to access more people and more things. The internet technology allows for us to do that. Now when it comes to living in a bigger city as compared to a place like this, what it really boils down to me is how much is it going to cost? And what I know right off the bat is that the more my life cost, the more pressure I'm putting on my business. And see, we don't need to lose sight, I don't think, of what we're really trying to do. The idea is to build a great business, a successful business, right? If that's the idea, if that's the goal, then we understand that it's not about us being in a bigger city, right? It's not about paying a whole lot more to live, especially not in the early stages. Maybe after you have gotten your feet underneath you and that's something that you want to do later on. Uh, if you want to go and build a, a house in a bigger city, maybe that's something that you want to do at that time. But to, for me, this decision was made because number one, I'm from Alabama. I was raised here. I'm comfortable here. It's peaceful here. So it was a cool place for me to come back to. That's number one. And then number one, a, it just doesn't cost a whole lot of money to live here at all. So I've been here for the last, um, since 2013 now, 10 years. So to live here is really easy. It's really easy to live in this type of place, easy financially right? Easy as far as distractions are concerned. It takes your mind away from that. There's not a whole lot of distractions. You can focus on your business, focus on what it is that you really want to do, right? And at the end of the day, again, what we really want to do, what I really want to do was to build a great business. So I wasn't focused on being in a bigger city. I would rather come out here in the country where I'm paying a thousand dollars in property taxes, right? Think about that. This type of place in the city of Atlanta or close in that area of Atlanta or in Houston, those types of places in the bigger cities, it's going to cost you a whole lot, of, lot more money just in property taxes alone to live in these types of places, right? A thousand dollars a year in property taxes. You can't beat that. When I look at what I would pay for a home in one of those places, uh, when I compare it to the home that I have here, it's going to cost me a whole lot more money, right? So it just makes sense to live in a rural area for me because it allows for me to focus on my business, to give my business the attention that it needs and not have the pressure of the cost of lifestyle on my back. Because that to me is the one thing that a business does not need is all the additional weight that it has to carry, right? I don't need to have three and four thousand dollars that I'm throwing away a month on lifestyle, right? I don't need that at this stage of the game. So what I'm more so focused on is how I can decrease my cost of living so that it can help the business. So it can take the pressure off of the business so that I can do other things with the money instead of spending it on lifestyle. I can use that money to grow the business. I can use that money to grow my personal net worth to build that net worth. I can use it to invest. I can use that money for a lot of different things other than just lifestyle. Lifestyle to me is the thing that a lot of business owners, um, or it becomes a problem for a lot of business owners, I would say, because you're trying to keep up with your lifestyle. Your lifestyle is draining your profits of your business, right? And you, mess around and you look around and you realize, man, I'm just working for lifestyle. But that's not your goal. That's not what you are intending to do. Your intentions 
Your goal is to build a great business, right? So when you want to build a great business, I think that we have to align our actions with building a great business. I think we have to do the things that are necessary to make sure that we come in an alignment with our goal. Right. If you have a goal to build a great business, you j it just makes sense to start doing things that are in the best interest of your money. And cost of living is one of those things that we have to consider. So that's why I chose a rural area. And I would make this decision again, operating in peace in a chaotic environment. Business is a chaotic environment and it provides me peace here, free of distraction, free of all of the necessary rigmarole that goes on in life with cost of living and all of that kind of stuff, right? I have a set cost that I pay here and it's a very, very limited amount as compared to other places, right? For example, let me just say this. I pay $900 a month for my rent here or my mortgage here, $900 a month. Most people pay more than that <laughs> to rent an apartment, right? You know, to, to rent a, one bedroom, two bedroom apartment, people are paying $1,200, $1,300, $1,500, right? So here, it's just a, it just a, it's just a easier life um, for the business in my opinion. And it still gives you the access to go wherever it is that you wanna go, right? Because you're just a, a airplane ride away or I am from wherever it is that I wanna go. If I wanna go somewhere, I go to the airport and boom, I go or I get in my car or my truck and I go, right? So I think that we, you know, we need to look at lifestyle. How much is it gonna cost you to live and can make that a consideration when you are thinking of starting a business, when you're putting the pieces together. Live in a place where, you know, is affordable, um, that provides the comforts that you want, but at the same time doesn't break you, doesn't have you living just to pay the bills. That's what I wanted to share with you today. Have a great day. Have a great rest of your week. See you at the top because the bottom is much too crowded.